Today, light emitting diodes are a ubiquitous light source, replacing fluorescent and incandescent lights in many applications. Relying on electroluminescence, LEDs emit light while conducting electric current without wasting excessive power as heat. In 1907, electroluminescence was first observed by Henry Round of Marconi Labs while investigating methods to rectify alternating current with solid-state materials. He applied a potential of 10 volts across two points on a silicon carbide crystal and observed that there was a pale yellow light at one of these points. Later in 1927, Russian inventor Oleg Losev observed the same effect and proposed a theory of operation and practical applications. After careful observation, he was able to correctly determine that the light was not caused by heating of the silicon carbide and that it may be related to the new field of quantum mechanics. In its most basic form, an LED is a junction between positively and negatively doped semiconductor material. The N-type semiconductor has an excess of electrons. These are the charge carriers and flow from the cathode to the anode when voltage is applied. The p-type semiconductor has a deficit of electrons, leaving holes in the semiconductor's crystal lattice. These holes are also charge carriers and pass current by moving opposite the flow of electrons. When an electron moves through a p-type semiconductor, it jumps into one hole and leaves another behind it on its way to the anode. At the p-n junction, some of the electrons migrate from the n-type semiconductor to fill holes in the p-type semiconductor. This leaves a non-conductive area that is depleted of charge carriers in both the N and P-type areas. When a negative voltage is applied to the N-type semiconductor, electrons begin to refill the area around the junction. At the same time, electrons begin to leave the P-type semiconductor. This replenishes the charge carriers around the junction and current can begin to flow. At the junction, electrons move from an area where they're in a high energy state flowing between atoms whose outer shells are full, into an area where they must fill a hole in an atom's outer shell. This is a lower energy state. In order to go from a high energy state to a low energy state, the electrons must lose some energy. They do this by emitting photons, whose wavelength is proportional to the energy lost. It is possible to choose how much energy must be lost by the electrons as they cross the junction. This determines the color of the photons emitted by the LED. This allows the productions of LEDs that emit light in infrared all the way up to ultraviolet. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.